Before I go further, I just want to pray. Father God, we thank you for this hour, this opportunity, and Lord, we just ask that you will um, anoint your word, anoint every hearer today, and Lord God, help us to be receptive to everything that you want to say. We thank you for the word that has already gone forth today. We thank you, Father, for deliverance. We thank you, Jesus, that you came to set the captive free, so we ask God that you would take us further now in your word. And Father God, bring deliverance even the more, God. We love you. We appreciate you. We thank you right now that every demonic spirit is bound, gagged, and muzzled. In the name of Jesus, and we thank you for liberty in the Holy Ghost. We thank you for the power of God. We thank you for the love of God, the mercy of God, the goodness of God. Oh, God, we love you. We appreciate you now. So, Father God, you have your way. Holy Spirit, take full control. And Lord, we thank you now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you have your Bible, um, turn over to Isaiah 59, verses 1 through 8. I'm going to read there. Then we're going to Luke chapter 10, verse 19. And I'll read the scripture from there. Okay. Isaiah 59, verses 1 through 8. And again, the title is Exposing and Defeating the Scorpion Sting. The Lord of God says, Behold, the Lord's hand is not short, that it cannot save. Neither is ear heavy, that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. For your hands are defiled with blood, your fingers with iniquity. Your lips have spoken lies. Your tongue has muttered perverseness. None calleth for justice, nor any pleadeth for truth. They trust in vanity and speak lies. They conceive mischief and bring forth iniquity. They hatch cockatrice eggs and weave the spider's web. He that eateth of their eggs dieth, and that which is crushed breaketh out into a viper. Their webs shall not 